I mean, I know you guys have never seen the Endwalker launch trailer, right? So, like, we're going to get Endwalker music, too. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Is this at the highest quality that it can be? Can we make it better quality? Perfect. Not that my computer even... Anyways, it's fine. Okay. The moon. Us? Okay. The final days were upon us. The fabric of the star had begun to fray, its land rent by tooth and claw. Until the heavens fall, until our last breath. Moon? 
I'm on the fucking moon. Camera froze, rewatch. Ah! You hand in your sprout, you receive the moon. I mean, we could just wait till tomorrow. I can't even process. We're doing it. De sprout me. I never mind. All right. Horse chestnut weapon coffer. Hillary, do you have some time to talk? I, I, that's why I didn't say it, because I knew what I was saying was going to come out wrong, so I stopped myself. That's called helping self-control. Your minds are in the gutter because I stopped myself from saying it. I would like to gather everyone in Dawn's respite and together assess the situation in which we find ourselves. That, no, it's us of you guys. It's us of you guys. Let us take stock of the facts, shall we? The crisis at hand began with the sudden appearance of ominous towers in a multitude of locations throughout the world. Ooh, what's this music? I like it, I like it. Ooh, we're just gonna vibe, we're just gonna bop. All right, cool. This is, I assume, Endwalker BGM. I like it. We have since learned that said structures were brought into being by an organization known as the Telepheroi. The Telepheroi's stated purpose is to recreate the final days of Eon's past, an apocalyptic event that would result in the destruction of all we hold dear. Already we have these, t or have these towers of theirs been the cause of untold suffering. I just, sorry, it's catching up to me again. Were we told, and this is this is a this is an artichoke moment, but in the past. So if it didn't happen already, don't tell me. I'm just afraid that I'm forgetting something because I'm bad with names. Were we told whose soul we're a part of? Like we we share a soul with Ardbert or f chunks of the soul. Do we know who that was? A Zem. We were told. Okay. Not directly, but enough. We are told a Zem. A Zem. That name is very familiar, so yes, that sounds right. Yeah, we were told that. Okay, a Zem. A Zem, it was mentioned. Heavily alluded it's a Zem. Okay. You're partially told, but never directly. But we're assuming, we're assuming. I just couldn't remember, I just couldn't remember the, the name. For yours is the 14th seat, the seat of a Zem. That's what it was. That's what it was. Yes, okay. The name sounds familiar as we say this. Okay. Is that who that was? Don't tell me this. I don't want to know. I'm just going to say it out loud. Don't respond. This is not an artichoke moment. That's who that was, right? It has to have been who that was. It has to have been a Zem. 100%. Don't respond. Do not tell me. But that feels like that's my assumption. I like, Lil, your answer to that. Because that's, that's fair. At this point, I can assume that. I can assume it. But don't tell me. Anyways. Onwards we go. All right. Countless innocents... She was pretty. Anyways. <clears throat> Countless innocents kidnapped and imprisoned. Their faith perverted for primal summonings. And unless we find a way to... Because it sounded like... Well... God, this music is so pretty, it's distracting. Unless we can find a way to deal with the corruptive aura surrounding the spires, we can't even get close enough to rescue anyone. Those shielded with the blessing of light seem able to resist being tempered, at least. Why am I on the moon? But after what happened to Aaron Valden Fardola, we need to be very, very careful about how we proceed. Is there a place that we go? 
on the moon? Yet, while these threats close to home are of paramount concern, we mustn't lose sight of the situation in Garlemald. How do we get to the moon? As you know, the, Del the Telofroy are under the leadership of Fandaniel and one other delightful fellow, Zenos Ye Galvis, the crown prince and our dear friend. To date, he's reclaimed his old body, murdered Emperor Varys, and plunged Garlemald into an even deeper pit of chaos. The capital has probably seen the worst of it. For a good while there, it saw the bloodiest fighting in, a war, in the War of Succession. That has since changed, and in troubling ways. I, There we go. <laughs> the inhabitants appeared to have been tempered, and with nary a word spoken did they labor to transform the palace into a soaring edifice born of nightmares. If they were indeed made thralls, it seems safe to assume that these events, too, were orchestrated by the Telephoroi. An army of primals is awful enough, but in light of recent developments, I fear it is, the, it is only the prelude to an either, even greater catastrophe. We need to devise a means to counter this threat, and quickly, before our allies are overwhelmed. You only get to experience the MSQ first once. I agree, Ducifer, 100%. We will find a way in Charlian. I'm sure of it. Master Fortuno's comments regarding the final days were curious to say the least. The forum knows more than it is letting on. Sorry to interrupt. We've just received... Word for Mistress Cryle. This music is awesome! She says the arrangements for your visit have been finalized. Wait, this is actually so... What? This music is not, like, aggressive? I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Okay, you're to head to Limsa Laminsa and board the next ship bound for Charlian. And on arrival, present yourselves as associates of the students of Baldessian. Come to assist with the Order's restoration. The arrangements may be settled, but what of your thoughts? They must race at the prospect of returning home after so long. I'm eager to see it, of course. Of course. Ahem. We should set off at once. God damn, this music is so good! Ooh. Then I'll accompany you to the docks. You need, a, you need at least one person there to wave and cry and wish you a safe journey. And Walker is above all the rest that it's weird to realize people only start to listen to it now after three expansions. It's fair. <laughs> uh, when is Tiller going to buy all the Final Fantasy XIV soundtracks? I mean, I have it on... Ooh, the quest music. I do have it on, on um, Spotify. It exists already. As in Walker. It's gone! Ah! I'm not a sprout anymore! Ooh! <laughs> That's terrifying! No more Sprout excuse. I mean, I don't know that I've ever really used being a Sprout as an excuse, right? I don't think I've ever used it as an excuse. Right? Right? I'm assuming the airship landing? Oh no, lower docks. Oh wait, nope. Whoopsie! <laughs> Oops! Didn't mean to do that! 
We're like 90 days, something days from a new Zelda game. I know. I'm so excited. What are we going to do? It's going to freak out. All sprouts must someday grow into real trees whose limbs shelter others and drop fruits down. It's true. Very true. I'm not a sprout anymore. Immediately gets lost. It's Limsa. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I guess can't zoom out that much. Hi, Tataru. Hi, buddy. Everyone's here, which is good, because I've already paid for your passage, and the fee is non-refundable. The ship for Charlian should be pulling into port soon, so please follow me and have all your luggage close at hand. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at all my homies. All my homies go on a boat to Charlian. They've almost finished loading our cargo. We should be ready to depart right on schedule. Or so I schedule. Excellent. Tis nice to have a smooth beginning to one's journey, at the very least. It's funny. Master Louis Soir came here on a ship very much like this one. And now, years later, the street urchin he befriended that day is bound for his mentor's homeland. With his mentor's grandchildren, no less. Aye. It is upon reflection that every twist of time's river and fate's whims are brought into sharp relief. Thou hast matured much in the intervening years. Wert thou not caught attempting to relieve Master Louisois of his purse scant moments after he made landfall? So glad we read that story before this, because that worked out really nicely. <laughs> oh, really? Now that's a tale I'd like to hear. Will this be your first visit to Charlian, Sir Estinian? Sir Estinian? <sighs> Are we strangers newly met? Why this stiff formality? Oh! I, uh... Call me brother! A professional courtesy, since we are now colleagues in an official sense. I'd rather you dispense with the sirs, especially in private company. Or I'll be forced to respond in kind, little Lord Alphano. Perfect. That's what he should be called. You've made your point, Estinian. Painfully well. <laughs> <laughs> Better. Oh, little Lord Alphano. Oh, I love it. <sighs> I love Tataru. Are you all right, Tataru? You seem positively distraught. Distraught? Me? Don't be silly. I think it's lovely that they get to see their homeland. It's just... We're trying to thwart the schemes of an army hellsbent on destroying the world. And, once again, I have to stay behind and worry that this is the last time I'll get to see my friends. I'll bring them back safe and sound, I promise. I'll hold you to that. Ah, oh, good. You're still here. Hori Boulder! Hori! Coltine! What brings you all this way? He does have a voice. 
We're to assist the Maelstrom and the Cobbles with a Lunar Primal operation, so we thought we'd see you off before heading to the tower. Flamine and the others wish you all a safe journey and promise that they'll look after things here until you return. We will too, of course. Aye. We I was going to say it sounded like Gosetsu, kind of. We'll do our part to ensure the end of the world won't happen on our watch. Won't happen on our watch. Okay. Thanks, Hori. Sail. All aboard for Charlian. It's time. Then we must delay no longer. We will contact you the moment we learn aught of value. Wish us luck. Let's do it. Have a safe journey. And please, please be careful. True, did it? And so you venture forth unto the unknown. Is that Emmett? A fate beyond the horizon that cannot be divined. A future undefined and in flux. You there fuckers. Are certain times Naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. That which lives is destined to die. Love leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. Treasure every moment, every step of your descent. Sir Nemerot down here too? And there, in the depths where souls and stars rest, find your truth. There in the depths. The day has barely dawned, my fellow early riser. Though we're hardly alone in that. Envious of those still sleeping soundly, no doubt. Called out to you, you say? Hmm. I've heard nothing myself. In any case, I dare say the sea air will do you good. Why not join the others on deck? Charlian should be coming into view at any moment.
My voice yet reaches you. I am glad. Hear. Feel. Think. And thus do we meet face to face at last. My warrior of light, guided by the crystal. After you sojourn in the first, I believe you have your answer. You have gained an understanding of what I truly am, what Eidolon has always been, a primal. Zodiac was created to forestall the apocalypse which threatened the ancient world and I was brought forth to bind him. Yet seven times Ancient's more, mask. those who would orchestrate a return to that bygone era have rejoined a shard to the god I had sundered. The greater his strength grows, the swifter does mine own diminish. The power to draw your mind into the rift betwixt is no longer mine to wield. Yet though it taxes me sorely, I dare not leave these words unsaid. Even bereft of my guidance, you and your companions have accepted the burden of this star's troubled past. A conjunction has begun to form. An intertwining of your time and mine. Wheels shudder and turn. Conflict looms. Monumental. Which will decide the fate of this world and all life upon it. I'm sorry, did she just say your time and mine? journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable. Then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. Cast your peepers to the floor, folks. Charlians just over yonder. I will not keep you further. Your traveler's heart must yearn to behold this unfamiliar land. We shall meet again, and soon. What a fine morning. Oh, oh, still a bit stiff, though. And a good morning to you, too. Taking a look at the island already? Then let's go. Let's go. Might still be room in the prow if we're lucky. Ah, the sleepers have arisen. Ah, there she is. <laughs> Good old Charlian. Oh, I see it.
It's so pretty. Home at last. Well, maybe not in father's eyes. But we'll manage on our own, if we must. You do know you're not alone in this, don't you? Indeed. It is as Sir Estinian said. Forget not the comrades who boarded this ship at your side. I prithee. Thank you, my friends. We are ever grateful for your steadfast support. Upon arrival, we will be disembarking into the heart of Charlian proper. There is no greater concentration of wisdom in all the world. I am confident or stupidity, that somewhere probably. within that center of knowledge and learning, we will find the answers we seek. And somehow I'm going to end up on the moon. And in the time of Hydaelyn. We're at like a weird conjoining of times. Charlian, the solitary island nation of the Northern Seas. Where under Ooh. the watchful gaze of Thaliac, patron deity of scholars, Thaliac? academics hoard all manner of knowledge and secrets. It does look like bigger version of Idleshire. <laughs> Once, they deigned to accept foreign students into a distant colony maintained in the Dravanian hinterlands. How swiftly they abandoned it once the first Garlean boot set hostile foot on Alamegan soil. So averse to the prosecution of war, these men of wisdom, your would-be allies. I thought they'd never let us off the ship. What's next then? Entry applications? Hopefully they find no cause to deny us. Hasn't Charlie in orbit severed relations with foreign powers? It's just such to say, like I feel like, <laughs> myself included, very well could just like refused outright. It is true that, as a nation, Charlian only forms trade agreements with a select few neutral countries. But from a practical standpoint, an island cannot afford to be overly strict with its borders. Especially not at that island's people are wholly devoted to the accumulation of knowledge. If one seeks <gasps> the proper paperwork, with satisfactory evidence of identity and intent, then foreigners may be granted entry. May. May. Oh, God. <laughs> they just turn us around. Hydaelyn's like, no! What? Wait, so you have to let her in! clear on these points before we proceed. The immigration officer will ask for your affiliation and your purpose of visit. Considering Charlian's views on intervention, I strongly suggest we avoid any mention of the Scions. Kral has laid the groundwork for us to act as associates of the students of Baldessian, and our ostensible reason for being here is to aid in their order's restoration. Grahatia, it might expedite our progress should an actual student be seen at the head of our little group. Would you mind leading the way? Of course. The immigration offices were this way, as I recall. Shall we? It's been like 200 years, but like, yeah, like I can lead you, no problem. <gasps> Good.
Greetings. We've just arrived and are eager to make our way into the city. Would you be so kind as to process our entry applications? Certainly. I see by your mark you are an Archon. I am. Grahat here of the students of Baldassian at your service. I was assigned to an Aeorzean survey team, but have returned to assist with the reformation of my order. My associates here will provide additional support. Very good. I have paperwork detailing your group and its scheduled arrival for today. And it seems some few of your companions are also Archons. If you'll step forward, we can process those applications first. I'm I'm a little nervous about this, not gonna lie. Just a little bit a little bit nervous. Ishtola rule. She has her nails painted. <laughs> That's such a weird see how it glows. I love it. That list is etherically linked with a citizen registry kept in the main repository. That's very cool. I've confirmed your status as Archons and amended your travel records accordingly. Welcome home. I know Hillary can't get past now, customs game over for real. They're definitely gonna say that they're Leveilleurs, right? Like they have to, surely. Alphano Leveilleur. Unless he like actually stripped them of their names. No way he did that that fast though, right? Your applications have also been approved. Having said that, the streets are abuzz with talk of how House Leveilleur's Lord disowned his young progeny. Oh, so he like came back and he was like bragging about it? What a fucking cuck bag. Let's, let's not be like that big of an asshole, maybe? Maybe we try to not be like that big of a turd? And while such personal circumstances constitute no reason to deny you entry, I urge you to avoid <sighs> exacerbating your present situation. Times are quite troubled enough already. We shall keep that in mind. These last two are not Charlian natives, but you will find their credentials are in order. An application was made in advance. But first, bureaucracy. You gotta do it. Those earrings are cute. I like those. Hmm. Name and occupation? Adventure by trade. Let's do that. That feels like a right choice. An adventurer. Well, I suppose that is considered a valid calling in your native Eorzea. And it does indeed match the profile provided. You may enter. Thanks. And you, sir? Estinian Valino. Formerly of the Order of the Knights Dragoon in Ishgard. Formally, at least. And what, pray tell, is your profession now? Dad. Stepdad. <laughs> Homeless. <laughs> um. <laughs> what? If you'll allow me. There she is. Cry, oh my girl, I love her. My associate is a mercenary, hired for his strength at arms. Stabby boy. Surely you yeah. are aware of the dangers we often face on our forays into Staring the Staring contest grand champion, obviously. For real. <laughs> Mistress Baldessian, if you insist on sponsoring his entry, then so be it. And she but does. While I appreciate that desperate times call for desperate measures, I find your choice of company concerning. Be advised that even a single misstep may have severe repercussions for your organization. She doesn't seem super psyched with our up 
I have appearance every confidence here, in so. my chosen company, dear and trusted comrades that they are. But I thank you for your concern. Chat, you're gonna hate me. Croyle, it is good. I'm gonna continue this in two seconds. I just have to run and I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. I'll be right back. Oh, my cat's like attacking the door. I'll be right back. Just one second. Bear me. Apologies. Apologies. Sorry, my cat just was being. <laughs> He's fine now. <laughs> he just, he just wants to get in. It's cool. I just don't want to do it. Anyways, all right, we're good. <laughs> it's like we're just getting here. Anyways, okay, we're good. We'll seem none the worse for wear. There is much to discuss, but this is hardly the place. Let's be on our way, shall we? Let's be on our way, indeed. I would very much agree. Welcome, friends, to Charlian. As your mercenary, I should hope my welcome includes a generous salary. <laughs> I love his city. I had to say something, Sir Taciturn. Sir Taciturn. Oh, we're in Charlian. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, my God. cutest human beings on the face of the earth. Bye guys. See you all soon.